Welcome to Dynamic Layers Arranger Tutorial. In this video I will focus on the Arranger panel which appear at the window top. The Piano Control application have quite the same Arranger but have a lot of differences. See for Piano Control vs Dynamic Layers comparison video. The Arranger panel have a few sub-panels. The sync panel at the left, which operates the start, stop and tempo autoset options. The rhythm selection bar, which can include unlimited rhythms number, but it's inconvenient to have too much. And next, the rhythm variation selection bar, which can also include unlimited versions for each rhythm. Right to the sync panel there is a tempo adjusting knob. And at the bottom of the system panel there is the Arranger Enable button. The Enable Arranger button turn on the Arranger layers, which set two voices, volumes and other parameters dependent on the rhythm selection. The Arranger layers different from user layers by several properties, such as the Arranger mod bar. The Arranger layers notes range is what sets the chord detection range for the Arranger auto chord playing. Note that the start, stop and all other sync options also work when Arranger enable is off. That behavior used to control looper from the same sync option panel when a ranger is not in use. So let's try play rhythm. Enable the arranger by press the button. We can see the arranger layer appears. Adjust the tempo. Select rhythm and variation. And press start to start the rhythm. We can see the playing chord appear on the panel and we can hear the influence on the autobus playing. If we select the Sync Start button, the rhythm will start on note play in the Arranger Layers range. If you wish to adjust tempo by a more free floating manner, there is several options for that. If you select Tap Play ST button, which is a shortcut for start, the arranger will adjust the tempo to your first four notes, in most cases, and then automatically change to Sing Start, which cause the next note to start the rhythm with your pre-played notes tempo. The same way when you need to adjust the tempo but not starting it immediately. By selecting the button Tap Play W, which is a shortcut to wait, the four first note will adjust the tempo but selection will not change to Sing Start, which means you now can start manually or press Sing Start when you really want the rhythm to start on next note. If you need to play complex starting, which not lay on the rhythm beat, what obviously cause the arranger could not found the right tempo, in that case you can use sustain pedal sync option. When select tap sustain ST, the tempo will adjust to your first sustain taps and change mode to sync start, which cause rhythm start on next note. And similar to the previous, selecting Tap Sustain W will adjust tempo and wait until you change mode to Sing Start or Start. If 
you notice, the variation bar includes several colors buttons. The dark green is the usual variation which played in cycles. The bright green is a fill variation which play one cycle and change to define other variation. And the red are the ending variation which stop the rhythm after one cycle. If you wonder where all the rhythms and variation are defined, all that data place in the file rhythms JSON which exist in the data direction of the application. The rhythms JSON file can edit by any text editor. The file content details all the rhythms and the variations properties. One of that properties appear at any variation is the MIDI file which played for this variation. The MIDI file's location is also in one folder in the application directory. So if you are advanced computer user, you can modify, add or remove any rhythm which construct from a usual MIDI files that create in any other MIDI editing software. That's all for now about the Ranger. Uh, I will happy to help everyone wanted to edit, modify the JSON files and the rhythms on the Ranger. So thanks for watching.